There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against the government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed and defenseless people. is going to continue. What one can't be so sure of is the method that it's going to take. Tembo said to me he wanted me to do some work with him, for him. I realised something serious is coming and he said, we're sending you off. You will be involved in secret work from London. We hit on this idea of looking for young people who could go secretly as tourists. I'd worked in the rag trade. Just finished my apprenticeship. I was in a rock and roll band. I was facing the draft, which meant a short trip to Vietnam. So I decided to go back to school and I went to the London School of Economics. He made the proposal that I should go to South Africa for the ANC. Basically bring the ANC's message to black South Africans. It's like sending people across the channel in wartime. Going through those customs, it was terrifying. If you get caught, you're in deep trouble. They're going to drag you off and you'll be interrogated by the South African Gestapo. In the false bottom suitcases, there were explosives and there were these subversive leaflets. You're thinking, well, I better not get caught then. <laughs> you know, that's what you're thinking, isn't it? <laughs> the shock of apartheid is exactly that. And it's everywhere, it's in your face. We, I hope, looked as if we were a couple. We'd identified ourselves, the stations most used by the black workers. We wanted one near the parliament. Well, we chose that. But the, the ANC didn't, but we thought we'd have a laugh. Here I was in South Africa on this mission that was completely illegal. We set all the timing devices so that by the time we left the quarry to go and start planting, everything was ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Imagine having an accident in the car and it not going off. And it blew up, it's maybe 50 feet in the air. They're laughing and gra grabbing as many as they can to take back to the townships. I saw it, just happened, just happened. The ANC is around somewhere. We don't know where, but somewhere. I can remember the clatter of the telex machine. Everybody had to be on the lookout. Suddenly the car was surrounded. He said, what have you got in the back seat of your car? I could actually see the gun in this guy's uh, holster under his jacket. He <laughs> knew this must be our man. To hear that a person's been captured is one of the worst moments of my life. That was when we knew it wasn't playing games anymore. 